Hey guys, how y'all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel. And today we have for you guys sort of a movie review. Today we're tackling, uh, well, a, a video that I probably have a long time coming. I made a video about this a while, uh, while ago, probably almost a few weeks ago, about The Matrix. I was going to review all three Matrix films in preparation for The Matrix 4. Uh, I believe Resurrection's coming out this December. And I finally watched The Matrix 1, or just The Matrix um, Blu-ray, just, uh, just right before coming down to film this. And uh, I have not seen The Matrix, of course. I have not seen any of this franchise. I don't know a friggin' thing about it. Uh, all I know is that uh, you know Keanu Reeves is in it, uh, and it's, it's, you know, there's a fourth one, and he does a little crazy thing in slow motion, and that's it. That's all I know about it, right? I saw the trailer, but that, that's it. I freaking know nothing, right? No one spoiled it. No one told me anything. You know, I know there's some action scenes, and there's a lot of kung fu, and, you know, there's a lot of, uh, from what I've heard, you know, there's a lot of cultural impact, uh, and now they're, you know, upon seeing it, I know that, you know, I know kung fu. Show me. It just, you know, dumb shite like that, you know, it's just kind of, uh, you know, you could write off as cringe, you're just kind of, you know, quippy dialogue, you know, like MCU dialogue, but, uh, you know, it's in games like, it's in Lego City Undercover, it's in Star Wars, it's in Simpsons, it's in so many things, you know, the, so many different, uh, you know, franchises kind of, uh, not mimic or mock, but, you know, kind of parody this film. And this, you know the term mindfuck? This is what this is, okay? That's what this, this is, they probably got that word, that, that phrase, from this freaking movie, because it's so trippy. You know, I mean, it's like I took a huge, uh, you know, round of LSD and then popped this thing in the Blu-ray player. But, uh, you know, upon watching it, and, and you know, for the beginning, uh, it was like, this is kind of confusing. You know, there's a lot of lot of stuff to take in. You know, you got Trinity, Morpheus, Neo, then you got Agent Smith, you got the whole freaking AI robot thing, the squid monsters, uh, you know, you've got the Oracle, you've got all these different things, right? Uh, the AI, like I said, Agent Smith, and thankfully, by the end of the film, it all kind of makes sense. Uh, you know, again, there are two more, and the third one coming out. Again, Matrix 4 coming out this December. So, uh, you know, of course, the franchise is going to, uh, you know, uh, widen and get bigger. But, uh, you know, 138 minutes, pretty freaking long movie. And, uh, you know, for 1999, the year of the Phantom Menace, Episode 1, this holds up more than Episode 1. Now, look, the Phantom Menace is not my favorite movie. It's, you know, I love the prequels. All Star Wars is good, but it's not that great. You know, there's a, there's, there's a lot of good things in it. It's better than two, but, you know, The Phantom Menace, despite its shortcomings, you know, not many people like Jar Jar Binks. I like Jar Jar Binks. I think he's a good character. Uh, not great, but good. He is a, you know, objectively, he is a standout character in terms of, uh, you know, CGI, technical, uh, you know, achievement and all that. And this film has that in spades. There's a lot of really good scenes that are CGI, that look almost photoreal. I mean, in 2021, again, this came out in 1999. This thing freaking holds up really good. There's a few shots in there, you know, a few scenes where the CGI is a little bit, uh, you know, you can tell it's from 99. But uh, other than that, you know, the CGI is really good. The acting is good. I think that, uh, you know, there's not, you know, any quote-unquote prequel dialogue uh, or prequel acting. There's, you know, there's a few. My only negative with this film is that there's a few cheesy scenes, right? There's the scene where that effing guy with the weird-ass mustache is like, you know, he turns and, you know, he kind of tries to buy his way out with, uh, you know, Agent Smith. And he, he tries to kill those those resistance fighters. And, you know, <laughs> they kind of do that scene where he shoots the guy and you think the black dude's dead, the, the tank or whatever. And he's on the floor. And then it, it goes to a different scene in the in the Matrix or whatever. Uh, or, you know, in the, in the quote-unquote real world. And then, uh, you know, it, it goes, it just quick cuts right back to the guy. He's like, yo, shit, man, boy, you're going to melt. And then he just kills him. It's a good scene, but it's a, it's edited really weirdly, you know, it's very cheesy, it's kind of just like a, like a quick one-liner and a, you know, shoots them with like the Ghostbuster freaking thing, and, uh, you know, look, it's not bad, it's, it's, it's just not as good as, you know, that's what I mean, it's, the movie's so good, it's just a few scenes in there where when it's wrong, it's kind of, you can tell it's wrong, that's a scene, uh, you know, Keanu Reeves, let's be honest, he's not a great actor, he's okay, right, John Wick, he's pretty good, but, you know, most of the time in John Wick, he's going, yeah, I'm John Wick. Good boy. You know that's all he does. And then in this, he just goes, "Whoa!" You know, he's just—he's like a—he's like a surfer dude. He's a freaking surfer guy. He's like, Whoa, hang tight. Ugh. You know, what I mean, that's all he really does. Um, and he's not great, but he's not bad. He's just good. You know, what I mean, he's kind of like, uh, I guess, a mix of Anakin Skywalker and Padme from the prequels, right? There's nothing bad about it. It's just. Some of the line delivery is a little bit wonky. Some of the acting is a little bit wonky. But for the most part, Keanu Reeves is really good. And again, that cheesiness and that kind of, you know, uh, I guess cheesiness uh, does kind of go away. And it, look, this is a great effing movie. I understand why people love it so much. I mean, people hold this film near and dear to, like, Star Wars 
is to me. And then Jago, you know what I mean? And, and Marvel and DC and all that stuff, right? This is a franchise I'm just getting into, kind of like I just did with John Wick. And this is a great effing movie. It's so good. Again, there's a few negatives in there, like a little bit of cheesiness, one or two editing things. Uh, but other than that, I think it's good. You know, maybe that scene where Trinity's like, I love you. She kind of, it's a little cheesy, but you know, it's better than the prequel. So I'll give it that. But still, I think The Matrix is a really good movie. It's, I like I said, it's not like my favorite movie ever, but you know, I can understand why people like it so much, why this is such a big cult following, why everyone's referencing it, and why there's going to be a fourth friggin' movie, because this is such a good foundation. And hopefully, I've heard, you know, I've heard, oh, The Matrix 1's great, and then 2 and 3 suck, and hopefully 4's, you know, look, I don't care. I'm going to watch 2 and 3 hopefully soon, uh, and then I'll review those. But, uh, you know, this is a great franchise already. I can tell it's off to a really good start. Again, it's a lot of information. There's a lot of shite you need to know. You know what I mean? The AI, the Matrix is literally our world, and the real world is this, you know, fucked up area where everything's just completely destroyed and, and, and mutilated and completely annihilated by these AI guys. There's a lot of stuff to take in. And if you, you know, if you're sleeping or you're not paying attention or, you know, whatever, uh, you can come out of this going, what the fudge is going on? You know what I mean? What the heck is this? You know, this is crazy. Um, this makes no flipping sense. But, uh, you know, thankfully I didn't fall asleep. Um, I'm filming this at like 10.30 at night. But still, I think this is a very good movie uh, in terms of, like I said, music good, directing very good. There's a lot of great shots in here. Lots of good shots. Not every shot holds up. You know, it's, there's just some that are just kind of, you know, plain. Just a freaking guy and a girl talking or a guy and a guy and a girl. But it's, uh, you know, there's a lot of good shots in there that really stand out. Uh, again, I didn't know what the fudge this movie was going to be, you know. I just knew he did a little flip. Um, <laughs> that's it. And the fact that he's, you know, there's, there's kung fu, there's, you know, gunplay. There's a lot of slow motion. I guess maybe that's the style that we're going for. I can kind of dig it. There's a little bit too much slow motion for me, but that's not a negative. Just me personally. Um, but I enjoyed it. You know, action was good. Story was really good. It really hooked me. I can't, I can't wait for the sequels. Uh, you know, four, and I'm going to be watching two or three. Again, don't spoil what happens in the comments, or I'll literally ban you from the channel. But I'm very excited for this. I can't wait to see Matrix. I think it's Revolutions or Revelations. And, uh... Something. But yeah, I can't freaking wait. Reloaded. I can't wait. This is a great franchise. I'm really happy that I actually got these. I got all three of the exchange for like 15 bucks. So, and, uh, you know, I enjoy it. You know, it, it really, like, I it, I went into this knowing, okay, everyone loves it. Why do they love it? And now I know why they love it. Because it's a good freaking movie with a good story, with good acting, good action. It's, it's you know, it's a call classic for a reason. And I think there's, a, uh, you know, there's a good reason why they made, uh, why they're making uh, you know, one more plus the two sequels that we already have. So again, I have the other two sequels on Blu-ray. I'll be watching them soon. Again, tell me what you think about The Matrix 1 in the comments section below. Again, a few, sh you know, a few shortcomings here or there, but again, it's a very good movie, and I can't wait to review the rest. I'm going to give The Matrix probably an A-. minus. This was a really great film. I'm very glad I saw it. I can't wait to see the more, and hopefully, like John Wick, this is going to be a good uh, franchise to get more invested in, and uh, yeah, I can't wait for the rest. Thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next video.